Good evening, everybody. Uh, a VP stands for Valmy Pierre. Uh, I was invited by a friend of mine. So just like, it's just good to actually listen to y'all speaking English, practicing English, you know? So I just wanted to congratulate, you know, you all for doing that, and especially you, uh, yeah. Michael. Yeah. Hi, Michael. So yeah. especially you, you're taking such an initiative, basically, uh, to help people. To me, this is like a good opportunity that you actually uh, created for uh, people to practice their English, you know? So that's that's all I wanted to say. So it's actually good to see that, like Haitians, like from all over, mm -hmm. uh, some, of, some of them are in the U.S., Mexico, and you said somebody is in the DR too. So it's not only people who are uh, outside of the U.S. who are practicing their English. It's like even people here practicing their English, you know? To me, this is like, this is actually really good. I'm going to tell you that 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 I'm going to tell you Hello, good evening, all of you, my dear fellows who are listening and connecting from different parts of the world. I am Teacher Michael, my name is Teacher Michael. The problem is that the Italian is in Mexico, Chile, who is able to learn English, but who is not able to learn English in the school presencial, we have a solution for you. Nous capable aider ou pour moyen qu'on ouvre qui nous fait live sur Zoom. Celle ça a besoin c'est un téléphone, une tablette ou bien un laptop. Et puis tout nous utiliser plus bon méthode là qui c'est méthode conversation. Côté nous pas focus sur question grammaire mais nous mettez plus accent sur écoute, compréhension et puis parler. Jean pour aller ça dans vidéo ça nous utiliser un sujet par exemple qui c'est happiness qui vous voulez dire qu'est content. Dans sujet ça nous pas rien cinq questions et toutes cinq questions ça y a un rapport avec qu'est content. Donc c'est en anglais. Nous m'avons pour prêter en pile attention parce que étudiants nous avec invité ou pour quelque possibilité pour by point de vue des sujets ça. Let's go please we are going to start with the question number 1. The question number 1 says what does happiness mean to you personally and what kinds of things that can make you happy? We are going to start with one of our student from Dominican Republic Miss Biolanda Let's go with you, please. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yolanda. I am one of the teacher Michael students, and I'm extremely happy to be there with you tonight, guys. I live in the Dominican Republic. And thank you, teacher Michael, to choose me, like to give my opinion about the first question. Uh, for me, happiness is more than a good feeling or, or yellow smiley face. It's the feeling of truly enjoying your life and the desire to make the very best of it. Happiness is the secret so that can help us be and do our best. Here's what researchers found when they study happy people. Happy people are more successful. And some people think that only when they achieve big goals in life, they will be happy. Happiness comes in every little detail. For example, we are happy when we love to give. As the Bible says, our hearts are happier when we give than when we receive. When we do things because our heart pushes us to do it, it makes us happier. So for me, happiness is the definition of all the good action we do and all the positive thought we have in our health, whether we are in a good situation or in a difficult situation, we can always happy. And for the second part of the question, honestly, food is a big thing that makes me very happy. When I was very hungry and they gave me a plate of food, it made me very happy. And if the food has meat, it makes me happier. But I'm also happy when I give. For example, when I take time to prepare a gift for a person, when I give someone some advice that is useful to him, when I give Jehovah my time in his service, when I'm listening music, singing, dancing, or something that make me happy, and when I wish some goals too. So if I will say all of things that make me happy, I will not finish today. So I am happy for all the good things in my life, and the way Jehovah helped me overcome the bad time and the 
lesson I learned from them and to move forward with joy makes me happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations, Ms. Biranda, because you did an amazing job. I really congratulate you from Dominican Republic. We really appreciate that. I mean, if you can do it, the other people can do it as well. Thank you. And congratulations. So now let's go, please, with somebody from Haiti. I need somebody from Haiti. Let's go, please, Mr. Ken Shiwo. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Open the mic and go ahead, please. Good evening, everybody. I'm so happy to be with you tonight behind the Zoom to give my happiness about happiness. Thank you, Teacher Michael, to give me the opportunity again to express myself about this beautiful subject, happiness. So for me, happiness means a good sensation that you have inside, inside that you feel that you can express among, among the things that I can say it can make me happy, I can say a, a good music because when I'm listening to music, I, I can feel a, a good sensation. I can feel a vibe. So I'm really happy when I'm listening to music. Further, I can say play soccer because I like to play soccer. And when you watch soccer or you play soccer, you can enjoy the vibe among the, the soccer. I can say again, a good moment with friends that I love. So when when we gather, when we pass a good moment, when many persons present in a space, we can we can see the vibe against against them. So and so on and so on. Great. Congratulations, our dear brother from Haiti. I know that you're doing a really good job. Thank you. And congratulations, Mr. Ken Shiro. So don't forget, guys, that topic is about happiness. The first question, what does happiness mean to you personally? And what kinds of things that make you happy? Qui ça qui est content de dire pour personnellement? Et qui genre de bagaille qui fait que vous content? So, hello, Mr. Stevenson. Good evening. You get the mic, open it, and go ahead, please. I say a special hello to Mr. to Teacher Michael, uh, because you do a great job because you you helping us to to improve our English. That's that's very very good. I take this time to congratulate. Um, so, in my opinion, I think happiness is a quality that comes from that that comes that comes from in our heart uh, heart so it's not only a feeling but i can say a quality you have to to cultivate this quality happiness day by day someone has to work to get this quality so I can say happiness includes sharing and give. You, if someone give his time, his energy, whatever he gets, I think that can make him happy. About me, I can say I am really happy when I'm giving my time to others when I'm helping others, uh, when I'm giving my, my strength to, to help others, when I'm giving my, my abilities, my capacity to help others. So that what, ma what makes me happy, really happy? I can say dancing, makes me happy a lot when i'm dancing i'm really really happy i'm feeling i feel good when i'm doing this thing and i can say too uh singing and eating when i'm eating a, a delicious food i'm really happy too 
I can say that's the thing that makes me happy, really happy. That's why I can say that uh, it's all I can say about the subject to, tonight. Great, great. Thank you. And congratulations as well, um, Mr. Stephen. We're really happy to have you. And we really appreciate your comment as well. Uh, let's go with you, please, Miss Mahana. Yeah, I need to... Good, thank you, Teacher Michael. Good evening, dear fellows. My name is Manael. I am a Teacher Michael student. I am from and live in AD, and it's a pleasure to me to be there with you tonight. About the first question. In my point of view, happiness means a lot of things for me, such as the way you feel, you feel good and at ease. It's more than a physical joy. It's a mindset. You feel good in your mind. You feel in peace. And sometimes it makes you strong. You feel unstoppable. I think if you aren't happy in your mind, make sure and believe me, when you're not happy, it will cause a lot of effect on your facial expression. There are many things who can make you happy. And at the same time, it may be a little thing that makes you happy too. Let's talk about those things who can bring you joy though. Who can bring you joy? The first one is love. When you find love, when you are in love, and when we gave you love and when you gave love too, you can be happy. <laughs> love in a general case can make you happy if you are with your ideal human. <laughs> and the another one, it's money. When you have money, you can be happy because you can buy the, the things you want and you can please yourself. Let's talk about some little things who can make you also happy. A simple message, some encouragement. You know, I think happiness is free. Sometimes put your problem in low and choose to be happy. Think about some good memories. Yes, it can make you cry, but this still it can be a happy too. Great, okay, thank you. And thank you. A million. And I really congratulate and love your comment, love your effort, and love you as well, Miss Manayel, for this beautiful job. Si vous remet travail nous en faire, tant pis, quittez un commentaire pour faire nous connaître ça. Partagez vidéo avec examen ou like, et puis abonnez avec nous. Let's go with you, please, Miss Liz. Hello, just open the mic and go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jane Liz. I'm a student from Comrade Language Courses, and I'm extremely happy to be here tonight. I'm Haitian, but I'm living in Dominican Republic with my family. Well, I think happiness is when a person feels calm and peace because they have done sometimes or someone has done some time to them. This can last second, minutes, even hours. The things that make me happy is the fact of annoying, have good health, my parents are alive, and because I don't almost finish school. Wednesday is my last day in school. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations, Miss Liz. Let's go with you, please, Mr. Emmanuel from Haiti, especially Amtigrav. Um, Open the mic and go ahead, please, our dear brother. Good evening, everyone, <laughs> especially Teacher Michael. I would like to wish all of you welcome uh, because we are common language courses, but we are in the best place for learning English and share knowledge as so. And don't be shy, don't be afraid because we, the club is for you, it's for all of you. About the the first question, happiness is defined as a person positive emotions over one and negative emotion. And it's not only that we can define happiness as so in a biological and psychological state that every person strive 
to achieve throughout her life, which causes satisfactions when she wishes material and spiritual satisfaction and creates human relations. In some study, it has been determined that the level of happiness decreases as social and all the things. There are a lot of things make me happy. And in general, I accept the positive in life. Why? Because there are more things that I am grateful for than I am think. And other thing, I should never give up on my happiness. And I'm with the world people. People can help me, give me some advice. And back, I think about good moments in my life. And other thing, I enjoy simplicity. I think about good moment within good book, watching television. I really love watching soccer play on television. I find the purpose in life. I practice resilience and I practice the value of real conversation. Thank you, Dick. Yeah, thank you. And thank you a million, our dear brother, Mr. Emmanuel from, from Haiti, especially Tigwav. You are doing an amazing job. We really congratulate and really and really thank you. So now let's go with you, please, Miss Luciana Savoy. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you. Um, for me personally, happiness it's about feeling good mentally and physically. Um, happiness is a feeling of satisfaction. There are positive things that occupy my mind much more than happiness. For example, when I have a goal, I manage to achieve it. It gives me joy. And then when I'm, um, I know I'm surrounded by people that love me, that I love, and this love is reciprocal, I can say that, um, I feel happy because I can call on them when I have weak. So I feel protected. It gives me joy, that's all. Hey, thank you. And congratulations, Miss Luciana. You did an amazing job as well, far away from Florida. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. Hello. My name is Jean Corby. I live in Diadapolis. I am a new student. I am in Camerat. Uh, I think a happiness is very important in my life. Uh, the thing make me happy is uh, when I out, um, when I with my family, I'm so really happy. And then when I I, I like watch the TV also. He make me happy too. Okay, thank you. Great. It's all. all right. Great, congratulations. Our dear brother, Mr. Jean Kebi from Florida. We're so happy to have you. So now, let's go with you, please, Um, from Chile. From Chile. Miss Zilli, please. Hello. You get the mic, just open it and go ahead. Good evening for all people in this group. Uh, my name is Suri Sadai. I live in Chile in the center of my country. Uh, I study English with Mr. Michael. Uh, for me, according to the question number one, happiness for me is all the moments because no one is uh, always happy. For example, uh, you are happy when you have a child, uh, being a father or mother, uh, you understand? <laughs> uh, when you marry, when you take a trip, um, it make it made me uh, happy uh, to serve uh, Jehovah. Uh, when I play uh, with a child, or other moment when other moment when you um, 
I I I with um uh friends uh my friends uh, and brother Yahweh the witness is the moment is all great congratulations and thank you very much Miss Zilli you are one of my faithful students you always be there in our club and with your camera open really nice really thank you and congratulations Miss Natasha let's go with you please Thank you, Mr. Michael. I'm Natasha. I'm a student of Mr. Michael. I study English, uh, in other, other language. I'm living in Mexico with my family. It is a pleasure for me to be there with you tonight to participate in the club. About the question on one, for me, Happiness is a feeling of well-being that helps us to overcome whatever difficulties we encounter in your life. It is a feeling of satisfaction when you realize something for you or for, for someone. For example, when you help someone to do something or help a sick person, you are feeling good helping someone in bad situation. Those type situation is, is very important to make me happy. But it's a special bag you have to have a job, even if you have a job. You have to have a job. My name is Tefi from Comrad Language Crisis. Dans Comrad Language Crisis, nous utilisons plus bon méthode qui est méthode conversation. Nous parfois qui sur un grammatical. Ça qui est plus important pour nous c'est écoute, compréhension et puis parler. Ça va tourner pour commencer. Nouvelle session, c'est moi ça. Pour qu'on puisse avoir famille ou examen pour y avoir une parler anglais. Pour plus d'informations, contactez nos numéros ça. Life in America is beautiful, but it's more beautiful when you speak English well. I am Yolanda from Comwad Language Courses. Comwad Language Courses is a school online that learns to speak English. We do live on Zoom so that we can learn to speak English in any part of the world. So, if you need to use a device that has the internet, for example, a telephone, a tablet, or a laptop, Qui sont obtenus pour commencer, nouveau session, c'est moi ça. Vous capable de faire un numéro ça, qu'on soit obligé de toute information que vous avez besoin. N'attendez nous tout. The question number two says, how does social media affect our perception of happiness? Miss Luciana, let's go with you and say something, please. Open the mic and go ahead. Uh... I can say sometimes social media um, confuses people about happiness. Um, people let you know that you are not happy if you don't have a fortune. That means um, you are not happy if you don't have a big house and a lot of money. But, however, I think so. I can have all that. I still do not mm -hmm. uh, Social media encourage, uh, can encourage uh, me to do bad things, but things to make a lot of sense. Mm. Great. Sometimes I mm -hmm. Congratulations. I really appreciate that because maybe at the beginning, I didn't see it that way. Yes. That's the reason when we are here together, not only English, but it's knowledge. Do you understand? Because we can learn from each other. We're well, really happy to have you. Miss Luciana, with your comment. And now, let's go, please. We are going to keep on with Miss Bielanda. Hello. Thank you again, teacher Michael. And um, for this question, I think social media affect our perception of happiness, but positively or negatively, it will depend on how we use it. 
If we spend all our time on the network, we don't give ourselves the opportunity to enjoy all the other beautiful things around us that can make us happy, it will affect us negatively. And if we use it incorrectly, for example, look at the bad thing people post or use it to hurt others, it will be bad for us. But if we reserve time for social media and take advantage of every little moment, that can make us happy in life it will affect us positively for example thanks to social media we can communicate with people who makes us happy we can spend time with them we can use for many things that helps us in life so i think since we have a good balance on how we use it it will have a good effect on us thank you so much congratulations this is fluency this is the ability that we have to talk and keep talking. Congratulations, Ms. Biolanda. Mr. Emmanuel, please. Thank you, teacher Michael. We talk about happiness. Different people attend happiness in different ways. Everyone wants to be happy. However, a person is seldom happy or very ha unhappy. But another variable is social media. A uh, person who uses social media is uh, life satisfaction. Life satisfaction is a concept based individual evaluation that clarifies the positive judgments and satisfaction levels of individual about their life experiences and conditions. Life satisfaction is also defined as the cognitive expression of human happiness and the literature it is seen that there is a negative relationship between social media addiction and life satisfaction. People can use social media to avoid negative moods and dissatisfaction with their lives. In other words, use social media to manage emotion can be seen as a strategy. It has been determined that how the social media addiction increases life satisfaction decreases and individuals. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you for this beautiful comment. Mr. Ken Shiwa, please. Thank you. So for the social media, happiness means you need to have much money. You need to have material things, but it's not the truth. Happiness means a sensation that you can feel that you can express, but happiness not depend on much money, depend on material things. But if someone concentrate on what, on how social media consider happiness, so the social media will affect this person in a bad way. Congratulations. Let's go with you, please, Miss Natalie. In my opinion, Social media can create unrealistic expectations of what reality should be. Um, for example, unreal happiness has couple on, on social media. They show that everything is beautiful and perfect, but based on banal things, which, which have no values. That's my opinion, teacher. Congratulations. My name is Tefi from Comrade Language Crisis. Na Comrade Language Crisis, nous utilisons plus bon méthode qui c'est méthode conversation. Nous pas fort qui sur grammatical. Ça qui est plus important pour nous c'est écoute, compréhension et puis parler. Ça attend vous commencer. Nouvelle session c'est moi ça. Pour encourager famille ou examen pour apprendre à parler anglais. Pour plus d'informations, contactez nos numéros. Life in America is beautiful, but it's more beautiful when you speak English well. I am Yolanda from Command Language Courses. Command Language Courses, c'est une école online qui apprend à parler anglais. Il fait live sur Zoom, ça qui veut dire qu'il apprend à parler langue anglais à n'importe quoi dans le monde là. Ce que vous besoin, c'est un appareil qui a Internet. Par exemple, un téléphone, une tablette, ou bien un laptop, qui soit obtenu pour commencer, nous faisons session, c'est moi ça. Ou capable d'écrire un numéro ça, qu'on soit besoin de toute information que vous avez besoin. Nous avons besoin de tout. 
Sur le maître travail, nous avons fait un prix qui était en commentaire pour faire nous connaître ça. Partagez la vidéo avec nos amis ou bien en forme ou like. Et puis abonnez avec nous pour capable de faire la dernière vidéo. Let's nous. go please with the question number three. The question number three says, can someone be happy without money? We're going to go with somebody in Miss Valencia's house. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay good. Say something. Say your name and, and go ahead, please. Oh. Uh. Hi, uh, my name is Beacon Lomini, uh, Valencia's boyfriend. Um, can can ha like, does money buy you happiness, or uh, can someone be happy without money? Uh, well, yeah, I I think huh? you actually find happiness before the money. Siupa siupa ka. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. If you cannot find happiness. When you wake up in the morning and before you go to sleep, there's no amount of money that can change your mood, your emotions, your attitude. Mm -hmm. So with the hobbies, the way you live your life, if it does not promote growth, if it does not promote great health and abundance, how can you be happy? If it promotes misery, it promotes, you know, death, destruction. If you're not sleeping, you're not eating right, you're not doing what you have to do, How you're making it harder for yourself to be happy. And usually when you're not doing what you're supposed to do, your money pays for it. Your health costs money if you're not watching it. So you're not going to be happy because now you didn't do what you're supposed to do. And so now you literally have to pay for something you might not even have. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, happiness comes before money all day, every day. And America might sell you something different, but it's not true. Every, mm -hmm. Okay, that's about it. Great. Congratulations, our dear brother. I really appreciate your comment. And I consider like your accent is like a native accent. Congratulations, because we need this kind of people to be there with us, do you understand? Because when we invite yeah. other people, like it's like to listen to English, to listen to good stuff. We really appreciate your comment. And I know Miss Valencia is surrounded with a lot of good people, as you as her boyfriend. You are doing a really good job. You are really yeah. good thing. And really congratulations. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you, Professor. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so now let, let's go, please. We're gonna go with somebody else. Um, let me see. We're gonna go with some with with somebody. Um, okay, good. Good evening, everybody. Uh, a VP stands for Valmi Pierre. Uh, I was invited by a friend of mine, so just like, it's just good to actually listen to y'all speaking English, practicing English. You know, so I just wanted to congratulate you know, you all for doing that. And especially you, uh, is it Mikhail? Yes, Michael. Yes, so, Michael, yeah. hi, Michael. So yeah. especially you taking such in it, uh, in you're taking such an initiative basically uh, to help people. I, I don't know how you're doing it, if you're doing it just for, just for fun or for, <laughs> for money, whatever. But to me, this is like a good opportunity that you actually uh, created for uh, people to practice their English, you know? So that's that's all I wanted to say. So it's actually good to see that, like Haitians, like from all over, mm -hmm. uh, some, of, some of them are in the US, Mexico, and you said somebody is in the DR too? Yeah, they are, yes, especially um, my best, especially they come from Dominican Republic. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh -huh. that, that is pretty cool to actually see that, you know? Great. So yeah, good. Great. Uh, well, uh -huh. I'm sorry. I live in the U.S., you know, mm -hmm. uh, I live in the U.S., but uh, so I'm on a different time zone. Where, like where I live is just like, like now I have like it's 614 and it's, it's sun out. You can see that. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. I, this is outside. You can still see like it's, it's still sunny out. Okay. Uh, so now I noticed like they're all they're also people like in the US, right? Mm -hmm. well, that yeah, are pra practicing English. So it's not only people who are uh outside of the US who are practicing their English, it's like even people here practicing their English, you know. To me, this is like 
this is actually really good. <laughs> and it says only Haitians, right? Who's yeah. that Haitian there? Is, no, is we, 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 ha we have a few other people, uh, other people as well who are not Asian, but they speak Queer as well. They speak Queer. I think it's okay. Nice. Well, then that makes them Haitian then. Yeah, that makes them Asian. Yeah, it's really good, yeah. really nice. Uh huh. Then we are trying to help them, even though they're kind of far away from where we are. But they are really good people. They have good hearts. Do you understand? Even though people in the U.S., it's kind of diff difficult for them. Do you understand? Because they have family in Haiti. They have to work really hard to provide them what they really need, like to pay the rent and also to bring bread on the table. It's really difficult. But I'm, I, I really love them. I really congratulate them as well. So now let's go, please. I'm going to go with one of my students from Dominican Republic. But now she's in the U.S., Miss Yolanda. Let's go with you, please. Open the microphone and go ahead. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Yolanda, and I'm a long-time student from Common Language Courses. I'm so happy to be there tonight. Um, about this question, yes, I think someone can be happy without money. Um, happiness for me personally often comes from non-material sources such as relationships, personal fulfillment, or even experiences. Um, while I think money can provide comfort and also security for everyone, um, I don't think it's the sole determinant of happiness. Um, for example, a person might find immense joy in spending time with loved ones, engaging in hobbies, and maybe simply enjoying a beautiful sunset like me. Um, these moments of happiness do not rely on money. And... I think they will rely on the richness of experience and connections. Thank you. Congratulations, our beautiful, beautiful one. I really love you. We really appreciate you. Uh huh. Now let's go with you, please, Miss Um Bielanda. Open the microphone and go ahead, please. Thank you again, Teacher Michael. Um, for this question. There are many people who may not agree with me, but for me, a person can be happy without money. In the past, according to what my grandfather used to tell me, people used to work and eat what they harvested, and those who did not have their own garden, they used to work for those who have, and they gave them food. It's true they didn't have money to buy everything they needed, but with the little they had, they were happy. And in the time we live in today, is with money to function to do everything. Personally, when I have money, I feel happy. So money makes us happy, but money is not the source of happiness because there are many people who have money and their heart are not happy. And there are people who don't have money, but they are trying to live, but they are happy. I see money more has a need that we need to have it in order to function, but happiness sounds very natural, which is there in every little detail. Don't forget that our life is not when everything will work perfectly for us, we can be happy. When we believe in Jehovah's promises, we trust them, we have great happiness. Yes, money is one of the things that gives happiness, but it's not genuine. And this happiness will not be there forever. But true happiness comes from God. He's present in every detail of our lives and it will last forever. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Miss Yolanda, after Yolanda, one of my best one. Congratulations. Let's go with you, please, um, Miss um, Manuel. Uh, about this question, I say yes and no. Let's talk in why I'm not fixed. I said yes, because that depends how many times you do without money. I think, hello, teacher. Ah, okay. I think okay. if you pass a day without money, but you have some food in your home, you have the necessary except money. Yes, I don't know why you can be happy. But <laughs> if, you, if you don't have money for a long time, it's another problem. Yes, without money in this case, you can't be happy. Don't forget money become a necessary thing who can help you to stay alive. It's true that money doesn't make the happiness, but it can contribute to your happiness. 
imagine you have some need. Okay. And let me take a, a sensible example. Imagine you are a girl. You don't have money to buy <laughs> panties <laughs> and tampons. How would you feel? <laughs> it's a money who can help you to buy it. In this case, you can't be happy because you have some main need that you can feel. Okay, imagine you are sick. A one of person in your family is sick. You are the husband or the mother. How would you feel? Would you be happy without money? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't be confused. I don't want to say we must to depend of money. No, no. But we, we should be realistic. <laughs> and see, in this world, money is a good and important thing to live. And don't forget, we must to balance it. Put in and helpless. Don't make it the first important thing in your life. Don't like it so much. Just recognize it on of the necessary thing to live. And sometimes we, we can't be happy with it. Interesting. And amazing. Your comment is a kind of balance. Do you understand? Because sometimes people are kind of afraid to say, okay, we cannot live without money. But you mentioned some example, especially without without money, we cannot buy panties. Do you understand? Like basic stuff. And especially you mentioned if you don't have money for a long period of time, you might be crazy. So thank you and congratulations, Miss Manuel, again from Haiti. We really appreciate, appreciate your comment. Mr. Emmanuel, please. Thank you, Teacher Michael. It seems perfectly self-evident to many people that money brings happiness. And the more money, the more happiness. Indeed, it is on the axiom of economic. The question is, how much money do you need to achieve maximum happiness? There are also issues like, should you spend your money on the maximize your happiness? There are things money cannot buy, like health, which we know impact considerable on happiness. Most people assume that sufficient money is indeed necessary for happiness. Uh, I totally agree with Ms. Manayel. And sometimes we don't, we don't need a lot of money to be happy, but it's really important to have a, a lot of money to buy what you want to buy, like as a father and husband at the same time, I need money for buying things for my family, like food, clothes, and other things for my baby and my wife. But it's really important. Another bangle, baby. Is that necessary to have a lot of money to be happy? You just need a, a little money to help yourself and other person, like members of your family and the other person and your area. Thank you. Great. Thank you. And congratulations, my, my dear brother. And Mr. Vladimir, let's go with you. Open the microphone. It seems you wanted to say something. Let's go, please. All right. Good evening again. All right. Can someone be happy without money? Absolutely. <laughs> so absolutely, because you got to think about, because I heard, I mean, everybody's I would say everybody's opinion is right, basically, because when you talk about happiness, you have to think about like it's a feeling. It, it's a feeling of uh, content. It's a feeling of joy or uh, it's just like a feeling, basically. So being happy does not have anything to do with money, you know, just like think about uh, somebody who just passed a test, a test that is very difficult, right? And then the minute the minute you know you pass, you just this is the happiest uh, time or happiest day in your life, right? So, but with no money, you don't think about money because I mean I know you need money. Of course, you do need money to live. This is this is how the world operates basically. But this is like it's just something. It's a feeling. It's a feeling of accomplishment. It's a feeling of achieve, achievement. So it's not, it has nothing to do with money. You know, that's, that's how, I mean, 
I'm not I'm not judging anyone basically. They say like we need money, we need this, we need that. Yes, everybody needs money. This is this is this is a fact, but that has nothing to do with money. Uh just think about if you go to Haiti, uh, because you see that a lot in Haiti, where like kids want to play soccer, right? They don't have a soccer ball. They took a sock and they put a uh, cloth in it and then they roll it. It looks like a ball and then they're just playing, right? And they're playing, they're having fun with no money, you know? So that's what I said, like happiness is not, happiness has nothing to do with money, basically. It has more to do with what, you, what your goal was. Mm -hmm. If your goal was to have money, you have money, then that's your happiness. So uh, I remember, because I'm, I'm also in military, right? So I remember that I, there was a time that I did not have access to phone or anything. And my daughter, when she came to me, I remember like her mom brought her uh, to me because I didn't, I, I just, I didn't have access. I couldn't have, I couldn't talk to her much. But then when she came, that was the happiest day. Like it was a training for two and a half months, basically. And that was the happiest day during the two and a half months. That's the, the happiest day of my life was actually seeing my daughter, to hold my daughter, you know, but that had nothing to do with money. So that's why like, I was like, no, yes, you, everybody needs money, of course, you know, but the money does not really make you happy. If you listen to uh, people with money, they will tell you no, you know, because I, I, the other day I was like uh, watching uh, an old interview with Will Smith and he said like, he said some, something, and he said, um, when you have money to buy anything you want, you just like, there is nothing to buy because you have the money, right? So then you realize that the money is just like, it's, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. We all thinking about money now because we don't have it. But the minute we have it, it's just like, it's just nothing. Trust me. So don't, what I'm saying is, do not expect or do not wait for you to have money to happy, to be happy. To be happy, meaning like you can do whatever you're doing, whatever goal you had or you have, once once you achieve your goal, just be happy. You know, mm -hmm. and then that's that's how you that's how you celebrate your happiness. But don't don't think about oh, I don't have money, I can't do this, I can't do that. No, you can do a lot without money. All right. Great. Congratulations. Your comment is a kind of deep and we, we, we learn a, a, I mean, a lot from it. It's like, it was like during like two and a half months during two and a half months, I, I didn't see my daughter. I only talked to her one time. And that one time it was like a very short call. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was just like all in my mind, all I had in my mind during the, the entire training is like, I just, I just need to just complete this training and complete this training. And then, uh, just so I can see my daughter. I can see my daughter, you know, because without, without completing it, you don't have access. There's no civilian come to the base. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I I wouldn't be able to see her. Then once I finished, I was like, okay, I'm going to see her, you know, <laughs> then I get excited, you know? So like I said, I still spend money. I had to spend money to actually fly her to come to my, uh, to come see me. However, but that had nothing to do with money. Me being mm -hmm. happy, I didn't think about money. I didn't, no, it just, I just wanted to see her, you know? I was like, that was like, it's a, it's a real example, you know? So yeah. yeah, be happy. Just what I would say, like trying to learn how to celebrate yourself with or without money. Let's say like you have a goal today. I have this goal, right? So let's say uh, a simple thing. I'm going to get up. I'm going to go on a run. I'm going to go on a two miles run. Then that's what that was your goal for the day. Well, once once you uh, accomplish that goal, you have to celebrate yourself. That's how you that's how you bring that joy. You know, that's how you bring the happiness. So you don't have you don't need money to do that <laughs> without money. But if your goal is to have money, mm -hmm. I understand that, too. I understand that. Hey, I'm going to wait until I have the money. Once I have the money, then my happiness will come. But. If your goal is just to be happy, you will be happy with or without money. Great. Right. So, yes, really, really interesting. I just really like, just it. like, uh -huh. just like you doing this right now, right? 
you're not doing it for money. I know it costs you some money because uh -huh. you got Zoom account. The Zoom account, you have to spend some money for it. Money. You have internet. Everybody spends some money to use the data, right? Uh -huh. But you're doing this right now for what? For fun. No <laughs> Just for happiness. <laughs> yes. So, I mean, let, there are how many of us? There's 41 people. Like 41. 41, yeah. 41 it's people like 41 right connection, now. but we have more yes. people than 41. But uh -huh. I mean, I know we use some type of money, but it's not like we're paying Mm -hmm. to do that so like with me i have no business actually draining this group to do that but i just wanted to encourage everybody and that's when when my friend talked to me and then it's hey can you invite me to that group i just yeah especially if i'm not doing much you know I, i'd like to do that uh but then i'm like i don't need money i'm not doing this for money you're not doing this for money right now mm -hmm. right yeah right. that's what i'm saying Great. Congratulations, man. We right, really you, appreciate man. that. Because th th this kind of event, when we get it, sometimes people say, no, but I'm a native speaker and I'm living in the U.S. I speak English really well. But no, this opportunity, I mean, I'm sorry, this kind of club gave us opportunity to meet other fellow Asians. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. we are here together. We are trying like to laugh and jerking around and try to entertain ourselves as well. Oh, yeah. Practicing English. And I think this is the best way to learn. When you are learning and laughing. You're doing a great job. Time. You're doing a great job. People uh -huh. may not be grateful for it now, but I'm grateful the fact that you create this platform actually for Haitians to practice their English. And it's not only Haitians, because you said they all their, you know, there's some other non-Haitian citizens out here too. So I'm like, this is this is amazing. Yeah. I have no business. I don't need to practice English, <laughs> but I, I'm still doing it, you know? It's just like, cause because I just I feel like this is a good thing. Like I said. It's no money. And I feel happy right now. I don't have no money. <laughs> yeah, really interesting. Yeah, so thank you. And thank you right, very man. much. Yeah, our dear brother. And so now we, we are going to keep moving. on. We're going to keep moving on with you, please, Miss Elda. Open the microphone and say something. The question, can someone be happy without money? Thank you so much. Let's go with you, please. Thank you so much, uh, Teacher Michael, for choosing me again. Uh, remember, someone is happy with less than what you have. What is why having money can improve the quality of life? Build certain aspects of happiness, but money cannot buy happiness. Unfortunately, many people think what having money is happiness. And they even give importance to money than many other things that money cannot buy, which is happiness. Great. It is, um, makes happiness not depend on money. Out of money can uh, come for, yes, Someone can happy without money because it depends on how lives. Does the person possess life on money to be happy? For the reason with with uh, comment uh, Mrs. Uh, Manael, I agree with her. It's because I use money every day at moment. Because money can help me buy, for example, a house, take care of me, to travel whatever countries. But in another sense, good happiness, money doesn't give, give it. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And I really, really, really appreciate your effort, your comment and the way you're trying to get your fluency. So now, let's go to please, Miss Miss Paport. I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Rebecca, open the microphone, please, and let's go with you. Hello, everyone. Hello. I am Rebecca Paport. I am so happy to be with you tonight. Um, In my opinion, you can be happy without money. Everything will make you need money, but you can you can depend too much on, on money. You have to make a balance after that 
life is better when you have money. Um, for example, I would like to participate at your in the in the your course. I don't have money, so mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. Um, I think without money, you are nothing. Mm -hmm. Great. I, I, I really appreciate that and. I can say I agree with you as well, Ms. Rebecca, and I really congratulate you for being there with us tonight. And congratulations, especially you. for, for your English. Really appreciate that. Thank okay, you. good. Yes, yeah, you're welcome. Yes, thank you. And congratulations, all of you people, for being there tonight. How does um, physical health and well-being influence happiness? Comment santé physique avec bien-être pour les affectés qui sont contents? Okay, Ms. Valencia. Let's go with your place. Okay. When I take care of my physical hurt, I notice a big difference in my happiness. Eating well, exercising, and getting enough sleep give me more energy and make me feel good. When I I'm less stressed and more able to enjoy things I love. Overall, being in good earth helps me stay positive and happy in my daily life. Thank you. Congratulations. Good comment. Let's go with you, please, Miss Natalie. The microphone, open it, and go ahead, please. According to research, Happy people get sick less. They are more likely to achieve their goal. Being happy has a positive effect on our health, our brain, heart, stomach, blood pressure, and of course, our life expectancy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Congratulations. Beautiful answer. And about you, please, Miss, Mr. Emmanuel, let's go with you really quick. Okay, thank you, Teacher Michael. Chronic Hill Health has an impact on one's ability to work for money and has a sensitivity to well-being. However, as some researchers should show, money may not bring happiness, but it does affect and social like loneliness, which has a relation to life satisfaction. And when you are healthy, it's better we can find the happiness and when you are sick it's sometimes you don't be happy that's why when you get physical health and well-being you will more happier than other people who are sick great congratulations and and thank you and thank you very much our dear brother mr emmanuel can you describe one of the happiest moment of your life we're gonna start with you please mr emmanuel There are a lot of good moments in my life made me happy. One of the is the moment when my wife get deaf. When I took my baby in my arms, it's really, it was really happy for me. And at the beginning, it was really difficult for me and the other members of my family because my wife had a surgery. And I put a lot of time to wait my baby. And at the end, on nurse brings my baby. And when I see my baby, I was extremely happy. And I will never forget this beautiful moment. Interesting. We really appreciate that, Mr. Manor. It was amazing. And about you, please, Miss Gilanda. What is the happiest moment of your life? Thank you so much. There are many beautiful moments in la in my life that makes me very happy, but I will just talk about one of them very quickly. And I was 17 years old living with my mother. And uh, when I came in the Dominican Republic, I was separated from her and we never separated before. So I was separated from her for seven months. I miss her her all love. And I used to cry the first month, even though I started to adapt, I still was missed her. And after seven months, she came in the 
Dominican Republic to see me. The day she was coming, I was very happy. I waited for her from the gate of the house. It was 11 p.m. and I was tired and I decided to go to bed, but unfortunately I, I fell asleep. While I was sleeping, I felt someone walking next to me. When I wake up, I saw my mom next to me. I was so happy. I make a big noise that can wake up all the neighbors. And she asked me, I was so happy. I couldn't sleep anymore for the whole night. We had a good times together. She was with me for two months and after she came back in Haiti. Now it's been year, one year since we haven't seen each other, but I don't cry. Um, but I still miss her and I can't wait to see her again. It's interesting. Amazing. Really deep. We really appreciate this beautiful comment because we can see love and happiness in it. Congratulations and, and thank you. And about you, please, Miss Natalie. What is the happiest moment of your life, please? Uh, I have three moments that I can't forget. Um, the day I accept Jesus, the day I met my husband, and the day I became a mother for the first time. Thank you. Congratulations. I really deep, three important, important reasons. That can make you happy. Thank you. Congratulations. If Miss Kasten, please, or maybe your boyfriend. Let, let's go with you. <laughs> go ahead. Uh-huh. I let's... can. One of the happiest moments of my life it is when I made it here to Florida with my father and brother. It was not easy, but it was worth it. I'm very grateful to be able to establish my life here. Really nice. It's Thank interesting. Mm -hmm. And meet the Biden country. I think it's nice. Uh huh. It's everybody's gym. Congratulations and thank you, our dear sister. Go ahead, please, Miss Javiera. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. I've been listening to you all, and I am amazed by all your great comments. It's been uh, really interesting listening to you. And I also uh, have different happiest moments. I, I couldn't uh, say I just have one, but just to add something different to the conversation, I'm going to talk to you about uh, a hiking I did. I love hiking, but I hate climbing. <laughs> so there was this hiking I did a couple years ago with some friends, and I knew it was going to be difficult, but I didn't know how much difficult, how difficult it was really going to be. So I was there in the middle of the mountain, and I wanted to give up, but... um. I just kept going and finally after some I don't know how many hours of hiking and climbing up the mountain I finally got we all got to the like the top and the view was just one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life and you know that moment of relief and satisfaction and happiness because you made it even when you thought that you weren't going to be able to do it you, you wanted to like you know the feeling when you want to do something you want to achieve something but you you don't know if you're capable like you're physically capable of doing it and well I think that like both your physical and mental health uh, play a big part in, in that kind of situations but um yeah that's that's maybe different to what you're all been sharing but it's one of the the recent happiest moments <laughs> in my life I wanted to share. Great. Thank you. And congratulations, Ms. Avira, for this beautiful experience and this beautiful moment of happiness as well. Really, thank you. And congratulations. Yeah, Mr. Vladimir, we're going to start with you. Just to pin the microphone, say something before we go. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so, Mr. Well, the felicity, my felicity, you, the book, initiative, la. C'est une bonne initiative. Je pense avant de déposer seulement ici, mais ce n'est pas seulement ici. Donc, c'est tout le monde qui participait. 
ou si vous faire des têtes pour ça. Uh, même si mes collègues créent un les au fur et à mesure de avec nous tous et ou même tout je fais ça pour tout je uh, passe le temps ou même créer un pour tout pour pour pratiquer. Pratiquer vous le dit ou attendre et parler tout pas seulement attendre pas seulement rester attendre parce que si vous écoutez seulement oui ou qu'à développer ou qu'à développer uh, uh, ça que les listening skills mais ou besoin qu'à parler tout donc on y a un autre bagage mais c'est fait qui vraiment euh, normal c'est que pas de correction donc parler gens <laughs> juste parler 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 ou euh, parler parler ou donc ça ou vient qui ont liberté pour parler ou même l'on fait ou qu'on nous fait ou pas besoin de répondre non mais tout le monde qui fait là qu'on est ah, mal dit ça mais ou qu'on est ça ou qu'on est ça mais on fait quand même son va est naturel c'est au fur et à mesure la la plus changer mais si vous pas voulez parler donc on va bien corriger on va bien avancer d'accord donc uh, yeah Michael bon travail bon travail et uh, bon travail tout le monde qui a uh, décidé de faire ça uh, pour jouer uh, à la région club là et merci avec Zami là tout qui t'a invité là <laughs> yeah mais on oh, oh, bat mal de qui Zami I'm sorry on va dire non là où est-ce qu'elle voulait parler parce qu'elle veut qu'on parle même <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Bon, quand il y a comme quand il est arrivé pour lui parler, n'est pas tant que livré. Merci, mon yeah. ma dit yes. No problem. I think we can get in touch, my dear brother, Mr. Vladimir. Really appreciate okay, it. Easy. Thank you. Uh-huh. Good. And now, back on a key moon, I'm back on a from by. Yes, it's a moon now. Okay, let's go with you, please, Miss Bielanda. Let's go with you. Thank you so much, teacher Michael. It was a good time together. We were we were talk about happiness. That one of the reason I opened my camera like to show you how much I'm happy, and it was very interesting. It was a good time together. You did it. You 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 make a good job, and I congratulate you. And I congratulate all of you guys who were did who were here to practice with us. Thank you so much. And we hope so we're going to have a good time next time um, together. Thank you so much. Great. Congratulations and thank you. And you're really beautiful when you're happy. Uh-huh. Try to do your best to always, always be happy. Our dear one. Congratulations. Mr. Austin, please open the mic. So, Michael, I really congratulate you. It's a pleasure eh, to be there tonight. And I really enjoyed it. Okay, I really enjoyed this club. So I learned a lot of things. Okay, and I really appreciate every comment on this group tonight and this club and this beautiful club. And I hope, and I hope we can continue like that. Never give up. Great, interesting. And thank you, our dear oh. brother. <laughs> okay. Thank you and congratulations. Miss Javiela, please. But but I think it's better if you speak Creole, Miss Javiera, because yeah, as I mentioned before, it's a kind of good if we mix languages and take in different language. My faithful, vous en jouez Creole. Oui, ah, vous, moi, je vous félicite. Tout le monde qui participe aujourd'hui, à mon connais, c'est pas facile pour tout. Pour bien, on on joue qui vendredi. Et mais moi, content. Moi, 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 content. Oui, tout le monde qui qui participe aujourd'hui, à qui. Moi, papa le ampil, moi se m'a fait yo commenter parce que um, I was really impressed. Sorry, I, I keep mixing languages, but I was really impressed. Ça fait vraiment content et pour moi ampil mon qui qui voulait apprendre langue et anglais et, et cap fait fort. Ça encourage moi-même <laughs> pour me continuer à apprendre. Bien que moi y'en a na teachers. <laughs> But uh, still, I, I was really happy to be here. Um, continue fefo, continue pratique. Um, don't uh compare yourselves to others. Compare yourselves to yourself, like uh, to all the students here. Compare yourself to the progress that um you've made um, on your own. Don't compare your progress to others because uh each one of us has like a different process of learning the language. So. And you're all doing a great job. This club is proof of that. So, yeah. Great. That. <laughs> great. Uh, so mm-hmm. Great. Thank you. And congratulations. Merci en pile, Miss Javiela. Miss Natasha, say something, please. The, the microphone. 
Oh, thank you, Mr. Michael. I really appreciate this moment, even though using the video is very difficult for me to speak brightly, but I hope that another occasion I, I will be better. <laughs> okay. And Mr. Michael, you are a good special teacher. Thank you. Congratulations, and we really appreciate that, and thank you. Mr. Emmanuel, let's go with you, please. Je voulais dire merci avec ce Michael pour vous et vous initier à tout ça le plan pour les clubs à chouquer. Je dis merci à tous pour l'invité dans le club à participer ou bien nous avons sur. C'était vraiment intéressant, mais on a trouvé que c'était plus intéressant lorsque nous nous payons pour nous participer. Et pour nous participer, si nous avons besoin de préparer des questions, yo, par exemple, yo, nous avons des questions bien en avance, par exemple, des amis, nous avons déjà une date, nous avons un prochain club là, nous sommes capables de suspendre des programmes là, et puis, il y a bon nous lire, et puis, nous avons juste préparé, nous sommes capables de faire des commentaires qui sont simples, 30 à 20 secondes, et puis, et, nous sommes capables de voir ça, pas de correction. <laughs> et même, j'ai un petit monde qui a grandi, par exemple, nous avons commencé, nous avons commencé les papas. <laughs> Et comme c'est papa, là, je disais même genre, là, on va prendre un rêve, tant que bébé nous y est. Donc, on a juste à prendre, on a prendre, et puis, on a genre, nous avons mis un télé, ça me fait vraiment apprécier, parce qu'on était encouragé dans un club là, et puis, il faut que je ne pas corrigé, il ne faut pas corrigé, on va faire, on va prendre des et puis, on va être capable de progresser. Pour WhatsApp, nous pratiquer pendant toute journée, on n'est pas toujours disponible, c'est une autre chose qui permet de tout pour capable avancer c'est pratiquer c'est parler nous mettre plus action et puis tout pour faire deux fois par semaine et pour monde qui est intéressé nous capable entrer en contact avec le professeur et pour nous capable apprendre plus pour nous capable apprendre l'anglais parce que jodi a la vie dans le monde nous jouer l'anglais anglais c'est pas seulement un outil de communication mais c'est un paquet de bagages liés et puis tout tout bon livre tout pi bon livre qui est écrit c'est en anglais oui. Donc, tout le monde qui parle comme ça, tout le bon livre qui est écrit en anglais, donc si on veut ouvrir l'esprit, tout ça qui passe dans le monde, il doit avoir en anglais. Je vous souhaite de passer une bonne nuit, on va continuer à parler. Oui, yeah. congratulations, ma dear brother. C'est ça, 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 nous pas qui sur le grammatical. Ce qui est plus important pour nous, c'est écoute, compréhension et puis parler. Ça va tenter de commencer. Nouvelle session, c'est moi ça. Pour qu'on encourage les familles ou les amis pour qu'ils apprennent à parler anglais. Pour plus d'informations, contactez nos numéros. Life in America is beautiful, but it's more beautiful when you speak English well. Je suis Yolanda de Comwa Language Courses. Comwa Language Courses, c'est une école online qui apprend à parler anglais. Il fait live sur Zoom, ça qui veut dire qu'il apprend à parler anglais à n'importe quoi dans le monde là. Si vous avez besoin, c'est un appareil qui a Internet. Par exemple, un téléphone, une tablette ou bien un laptop qui sont apte pour commencer. Nouveau session, c'est moi ça. Vous pouvez écrire un numéro ça, qu'on soit besoin de toute information que vous avez besoin. N'apte-nous toutes.